Look at this little boba pearl. It's getting hot, man. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Let's do some cold, sweet treats. We're making boba ice cream sandwiches. Look how soft this is. Chewy graham cracker crust, a beautiful Mexican chocolate soft serve, and boba. Hmm. Okay, welcome back to the kitchen in your phone or computer, whatever you're watching on. So I think you get from the title, we're gonna do a s'mores style ice cream sandwich here. So we're gonna start off by making the graham cracker crust. So first we're gonna go ahead and mix together our dry ingredients. We've got the frozen butter here. I'm gonna slowly mix that in. Flour into the bowl, brown sugar, baking soda, tiny pinch of salt. Got this all in here in a separate little bowl. Go ahead and add our whole milk. Add in the raw honey and the vanilla extract. Now just go ahead and whisk that up. It should be a light brown liquid. Now I've got all the dry ingredients in here mixing. We're just gonna go ahead and add in our frozen butter just piece by piece at a time. And while this is mixing up, you should keep going until the butter turns into little pea sizes. Then we're gonna go ahead and add in our liquid. Now as you can see here, we've got a cookie dough looking consistency. That's what we want. All right, now just go ahead and get yourself some plastic wrap. You know, that clear stuff. Lay it down on the table. Then graham cracker dough onto that. Oh, yo, this stuff smells so good right now. I could probably just eat this raw right now. That's freaking delicious. You wanna just pat it down kind of flat here. Give it a little wrappy wrap. Cover it up, make sure it's tight. And then say goodnight. I'm gonna put this into the fridge for about an hour or so. We just want it to stiffen up because we're gonna roll it out. Okay, now next up we're gonna cook our boba. I'm not gonna go too far in depth on this because the instructions are on like every bag of boba you buy, a toddler could do it. <laughs> so anyways, drop it into your boiling water, cook it off to the specifications of your bag. I was thinking of doing a from scratch boba video, but I'm gonna save that for another video dedicated to just boba. So cook off your boba in the boiling water, then go ahead and skim it out, toss it into some chilled water, and then we're gonna go ahead and mix it. Time for the chocolate part of this s'mores ice cream sandwich. We're gonna do Mexican hot chocolate. It's gonna be really good, nice twist to it. Find it in the description down below. So pour that into the small bowl. Then we're gonna go ahead and add our honey and then some hot water. Now go ahead and take your strained chilled bulba pearls and toss them into the bowl. And then we're just gonna give this a good mix and then we'll toss this into the fridge to chill for when we need it. Okay, after an hour or so, your dough should firm up. So now we're just gonna go ahead and roll it out. Go ahead and flour your chilled surface. Roll it out to about half a centimeter thick. We don't want it to be too thin here. Yeah, so just go ahead and roll it out. Make sure to flour both sides and have your oven preheated to 350 Fahrenheit as well. All right, get it onto your sheet tray with a silk pad or parchment. Remember, it also doesn't need to look too pretty because you're gonna cover it with ice cream. Toss it into the oven at 350 Fahrenheit for about six to eight minutes. All right, y'all, I completely forgot to mention you wanna go ahead and poke some holes with a fork so it kind of rises normally, but like I said, it doesn't need to be pretty because we're gonna cover it with ice cream. So it should look just like this, golden brown. Just go ahead and let this cool off. And while this is cooling off, we're gonna start our ice cream. Okay, I wanted this ice cream to be really creamy, so I'm not gonna do any eggs in it. So in the bowl, 3 fourths cup of white sugar. Then we've got two and a half cups of whole milk. Then we've got heavy cream, about one cup and one fourth cup. Tiny pinch of salt. Got a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then here's what's gonna stabilize it. While whisking, we're gonna go ahead and just dust in one fourth teaspoon of xanthan gum. It's very important to do it while whisking. And also, if you wanna find xanthan gum, I have the link down below to the Spiceology stuff. Toss this into the ice cream maker. If you don't have one of these, I also have links down below to another one that I used to use, this KitchenAid bowl for like 50 bucks. If you don't have that, we're gonna be having a special video on how to make your own ice cream without an ice cream maker. Okay, in the middle of your cycle, you wanna go ahead and open it up and then toss in your boba, let that mix in, and then keep going for another 20 minutes or so. Now, once the ice cream is set and these are pretty much cooled off, we're just gonna cut them square in half and then separate them. 
then we're gonna toss them into the freezer for about 10 minutes or so so they can stiffen up a bit. So once your ice cream and your graham crackers have chilled a while in the freezer, like 30 minutes or so, pull them out. Go ahead and take your ice cream and spread it out evenly and then just top it off with the other graham cracker layer. Kind of smush it down a bit so you can sort of disperse the ice cream. Toss it back in the freezer so it can set up for about an hour to two hours. Okay, so pull this out of the freezer about two to three hours later. I left mine overnight, totally fine. So yeah, then you just wanna go ahead and cut off the edges so you can square off and straighten it out. This is just to make it look nice and pretty. You don't need to do this, but it makes the presentation so much nicer. And then there you go, you have it. You have a beautiful boba s'mores ice cream sandwich. Once you straighten it out, you get perfect edges there. It just looks so cool. I mean, look at that, that boba in there, that really delicious looking graham cracker. It's just a beautiful thing. Go ahead and check out our Mexican hot chocolate. It's really delicious. It also makes a really good latte. I do this a lot with it. Make yourself some of these guys right here. Boba ice cream sandwich, s'mores. That's a really long name, but yeah, it's delicious. You can even just try making the graham cracker on its own. Thank you so much for watching the video. Comment what other foods you'd like me to do next. Subscribe if you're new here and hit that bell. And I'll see you in the next one. Mm.